Hello everybody, and uh, just before episode 75 can begin properly, we have a result for our uh, little glitch problems, and uh, you guys have been absolutely stupendous in your response. You had uh, just 24 hours, of course, um, at time of recording, and I'm um, delighted to say you've all agreed with me. It was five votes in favour of um, uh, changing the training, youth and junior coaching uh, ratings and uh, my decision has also been agreed with you uh, we're going to give them 15 out of 20 uh, might be a little too high for some of you but um, just I want to get something on camera to show that I'm trying to you know uh, do as promised and I think 15 for a Champions League team with 16 million euros in the bank could certainly get these kind of uh, fun like uh, facilities and uh, I could try and earn the rest honestly but uh, 15 out of 20 seems a fair mark for a mid table to Champions League chasing squad so I'm going to click the OK button and uh, see what happens there we go so we have um, impressive training great youth facilities and uh, good junior coaching so uh, that looks absolutely fine to me that's all uh, saved and uh, done so there you go that's perfect yeah absolutely fine so uh, thank you guys for your help I really appreciate it and um, we'll go and uh, comment on the uh, Sheffield United game and of course get cracking on the Juventus game. Okay so uh, at long last we're able to get underway for our massive game against Juventus away from home and uh, before we actually can get on with it I'd just like to uh, show you the uh, Premier League table and the results of the uh, league. Uh, my starting 11 is there just in case you want to see it. So uh, since we last met at Schalke we were uh, able to defeat West Brom quite easily because their goalkeeper was uh, injured and they had a very uh, mediocre replacement for him. So despite um, taking the lead against West Brom, they made a big fight and uh, wouldn't uh, give up until the very, very last. And we uh, did get the result. We, ne we needed uh, three goals in ten minutes from Henning, Kinsler and an own goal gave us uh, the 5-2 win however we uh, needed to get something out of this game and we failed to do so our rivals from down the road uh, Sheffield United are now doing really well in the league probably a little harsh not to have scored but uh, they probably uh, did the better job and deserved to win but disaster struck and um, hip, a hip injury has uh, ruled Brian Boring out for two months and he really uh, could have been uh, used better we have a long way to go in this season and the fact that we're down one of our best youngsters um, is a real, real problem. And uh, Juventus will probably be smelling blood um, you know, heading into this game. They want to win it after losing last time out. So here's the Premier Division as it looks. We are in ninth place with 11 points in 8 games. Uh, Manchester United are beaten for the very first time. So uh, at least only one more team is unbeaten and that's actually Sheffield United. They've... Uh, won four games and drawn four games so if we're not careful we uh, could end up battling for the uh, mid-table spot which is our minimum objective but I want to be back in the top seven or eight if at all possible but uh, disappointing to have lost three games already this season after you went on such an outstanding run last year with all the commitments we have uh, this year it's even pushing the Capital One Cup game into the bottom of the screen so uh, pressure is on Chesterfield but we're still top of the group in a uh, group F. So um, whatever we can manage there, uh, that'll be absolutely fantastic. But uh, you saw the starting eleven, and um, we can have one last look before we head into the match screen for this uh, massive, massive game. Now here's a uh, brief look at the Serie A for everybody. Uh, Juventus are one of the two unbeaten sides. Uh, Jose Mourinho's Genoa have lost twice but have won every other game. Juventus have drawn three times on top of their four wins. So uh, it'll be great to inflict a. Uh, big defeat on them uh, somehow or some way they haven't lost um, a competitive game apart from Valencia so we really could do with a draw here um, I wouldn't expect a win against uh, the old lady but if we do get a win that will be truly special and uh, now we can finally take a look at the starting 11 for uh, Juventus we've got Munir, Kevin De Bruyne, Victor Fischer, Paul Pogba, uh, Romero, Nastasic and uh, Matthew Ryan the Australian in goal um, they've got a good balance but I think they're fatigued just like every other team seems to be like uh, Paul Pogba for example is 81% fitness we won't see him at his best 
for the entire 90 minutes but have to be very careful not to concede early it's a disciplined performance that I uh, would like to see most of our players are fit um, because of uh, rotation and all that but uh, you can see our bench is very very tired after losing to Sheffield United just three days ago, ago. and now we're just going to have to uh, grin and bear it it's time to show what we can do at a you know a unique uh, location in European football it is of course the um, modern delight that is the Juventus Stadium that replaced the uh, Deli Alpi so uh, let's see what happens and uh, I cannot uh, wait to see if we can handle this great challenge so this is time for kickoff De Bruyne uh, straight away to Manier and that's clear to Paul Pogba but Kintala gets a tackle in straight away and now Mahmoud Ahmed is found but he's illegally out of position there for an offside and uh, Juventus booing um, I don't know why though have they not performed well so far so good here's a chance for Pogba good save by Muller even kept it out for, from going out from a corner um, indirect free kick Jonas Eriksson booked but Juventus so far having the better of the chances here is Stephenson to Ronnie Pino and Callum Cook that's a poor ball and Ryan is able to clear Fry, poor header, it's De Bruyne Munir, he's on a run Pino tackles, Stephenson tackles Pogba, Gerard Munir wide so we're now have to go counter but I'm going to have to say demand more I'm not too pleased with uh, a lack of chances but here's Pino to Cook oh can them four riddles from Mag go all the way and he has it's another Champions League goal for Callum Cook and it looked really simple from this position he just side footed it into the corner and that's 1-0 and Muller keeps it out for a corner Juventus are another team that will be absolutely disgusted by what we have seen the English pair of Dauphry and Frank Reeves making their Champions League debuts and they're doing a great job so far but unfortunately Juventus are creating all the chances now Munir is dispossessed Reeves, route one, doesn't find the target. Fernando to Pogba. Munir turned his back to goal and Reeves intercepts and he does a good job getting it out of uh, harm's way. Here's Jalad to Munir. Stephenson is back and Shanahan. And again, this route one stuff isn't working. We have to keep the ball on the ground. And Munir has actually done much worse than that. He's belted it into the middle of the uh, of the tier and that's why from Pogba but it's all Juventus now and I don't think Chesterfield give a damn if they're not going to score but that is commentator's curse a brilliant free kick and that's one apiece and it has to has to be deserved to be honest Victor Fisher is, uh, is injured we're back to square one no goals in our uh, corresponding game between Schalke and Valencia and it's all Juventus still Pogba that's Maccioni he's offside though and uh, Chesterfield get away with it um, we're going to have to take a different strategy for the second half and now Manier could probably strike again please no oh it's over thank goodness and that will do just fine for the first half we need to do better with chances created but otherwise that is a very good result if it stays this way 1-1 half time and I'll just probably give him a little, a little, little assertive tone um, I, I'll just say uh, get back out there and grab a goal um, defence could probably do better we'll say I'm disappointed and that will get them going uh, I'll give the midfielders benefit of the doubt and lone striker Ahmed can also get a benefit of the doubt but uh, we'll try and be a little more fluid this time, see if we can get more chances. But it was a well-taken goal from Callum Cook. It's a shame he hasn't played more in the league. He'd be very, very useful if uh, we can get him playing every week. But Tom Bertram immediately on the attack. But unfortunately he's uh, tripped fairly and squarely. And now a counter-attack from Mazzioni. And Sean Kavanagh will receive a booking here. He tried to go for the ball, but he took out the man and uh, no thank goodness it's only a talking to and that's a quick free kick I didn't notice it but uh, let's just mark up actually um, Maccioni is playing on the left at the minute and he looks uh, fresh as a daisy we'll mark up him 
and uh, Paul Pogba looks really really tired so we'll um, we'll leave it as is he can probably handle a little bit of uh, pressure Muller takes a dropped kick and uh, Chesterfield now getting the ball moving Ahmed only has two or three options but he goes alone and it's straight over the crossbar for only a third shot of the game and Romero that's a good set piece but he's going to try again and Indio has nodded it in for his first of the season and Juventus finally take the lead it's taken them nearly 50 minutes but they now top the group at our expense and it's up to Chesterfield to respond they don't want to lose in the Champions League for the very first time uh, at least in the group stages but it's all Juventus here they're looking absolutely irresistible and Munir puts it well wide we're going to have to do something or else um, we're, we're going to be beaten we have to uh, give it our best shot 57 minutes played De Bruyne to Munir and tackled Pogba has lost it Ahmed a little too far back in my opinion but Tom Bertram can have a sprint for the wing Gerard intercepts and Juventus look confident and can try a counter attack here's Munir beating one in defender but goes backwards to Mazzioni that's a great ball Kevin De Bruyne to win the game and he's wasted his chance change is needed but Mazzioni will have a free reign down the left and Pogba save what can Chesterfield do here we look in uh, second class compared to Juventus understandably but we have to do something Munir somehow gets that interception and it's Juventus under pressure but they're doing all sorts of high tempo crossfield play now Pogba to Munir Gerard and Munir good save right strategy change needed um, run at defence that sort of thing that'll do nicely but my goodness it's all Juventus and they have plenty of players on the yellow card but we don't want to get anybody sent off ourselves they've got two players on the yellow card it kind of felt more than that Chesterfield have won on the yellow card which is Sean Kavanagh here's Ahmed on the ball losing it we really need to improve that part of our game but Tom Bertram loses it but it's gone to Pino and now Stephenson helping him out Callum Cook has found Kinsella but he's offside substitutions are going to be a premium for us today but we have to do something and my decision is to allow um, Brian Lenehan for Stephenson I've no alternative but everyone else looks fit for the time being maybe I'll have to take off Ahmed and let uh, Yarmessa have a, have a turn but otherwise I don't have much choice my bench is limited uh, due to uh, registration restrictions and injuries and that sort of thing but Tom Bertram now trying to defend the play Gerard De Bruyne he's managed to dribble past two and that's well done by Muller getting the ball with the second attempt but unbelievably we haven't had a shot in over 20 minutes this is a team that's capable of winning this tournament and uh, we're not doing too badly but we need to get something anything on goal and that's Shanahan he didn't appear to get the ball but it's not a foul according to our match referee Reeves and Fry I will credit them they're trying their best but it's not going a perfectly to plan that's well done by the defender and it's Juventus from a set piece for the umpteenth time Chesterfield look helpless but Kinsella does well and we're going to make final substitutions now I'm, I'm down to my uh, bare bones but we're going to do something and I'm going to begin with Yaramesa who please God will not get a knock or anything stupid for the last 15 minutes or so and um, I think Bembo Letta can play for Kinsella yes he can that'll have to do because uh, I want to keep my players fresh and even though I, I probably will play Lenehan and Bembo Letta in the next match on the weekend they, they could do with a bit of Champions League play but this could be a big moment Mesa it's saved well done Matthew Ryan he got his fingertips to that but Mesa at least looks like he wants to do something about this result let's try and push forward I don't care about goal difference we have positive goal difference of two as things stand but now Juventus want to put this game to bed De Bruyne crossfield that could be dangerous but Kevin deals with it Pogba that was intercepted that's offside but it doesn't actually count as offside the assistant didn't see anything wrong 
But now Juventus are going for the for the uh, all-out attack. And it's really something to witness. Paul Pogba has given 84 minutes to his manager. That deserves great credit. And uh, Chesterfield look out of options. Unless. Here we go. It's Bertram. Dial Fry and Reeves goes to the top corner. But Ryan is uh, smart enough to get there. Two minutes to go. And maybe even less. One minute to go. Goal kick for Muller. We haven't changed formation. Probably a mistake. But... As I say, I'd rather just to have the players fit and to give it their best. Mesa tackled. This is the final chance. Lennon loves the bullet throw. I'd rather he goes short, but that's a chance! No! Bemboleta! No, he's gone backwards. Lennon! Bertram! That's game. Juventus go top of Group F. And Chesterfield can have very few complaints. We took the lead. But we, we were very negative upon going 1-0 ahead. A bit like a stereotypical Italian team of the noughties and 90s. So that's a major, major uh, win for Juventus. But I'll just have to say it wasn't our night. We played okay. Not uh, world beaters. But that'll have to do. We're going to have to get used to this. And maybe we'll get a bit of payback at the Pro Act. But it is highly disappointing for these players to give... A Premier League performance in a stadium where you need to do far more to get anything out of it. But um, we're going to have to play like a Premier League team uh, on the weekend or else we are in big trouble. And that game is Manchester United. And uh, that was absolutely horrific in terms of uh, timing. We're going to have to cope. But uh, as things stand, we have a superior record over Valencia. They didn't take advantage, so we have a little bit of a reprieve. So if we can survive against Manchester United and uh, use our time to rest wisely. Like, I know we've got a Cup to One Cup game. We've got a league match against Everton. And then straight back into action against Juventus. If we use our time wisely, we can get out of this Champions League group in second place. But Juventus have shown us what it's like to play... A, a truly uh, you know massive club and we're going to have to deal with that as best we can but it's time for Manchester United we were able to beat them last season and we're going to have to do it again if we're going to stand any chance of a uh, wonderful league finish but before I go let's just check out the injury and suspensions list uh, Loftus-Cheek is injured again so my midfield is uh, running, running weak uh, he was injured in another match so nine days two weeks left on his injury. Tomas Forza is nearly back to full fitness. He needs another uh, six days. Mark Davies is cup tied uh, because he, or not cup tied, he's uh, tied to his uh, current employer so I can't play him uh, against United so we're going to have to think really hard about what to do there but until next time thank you very much for everything guys I really appreciate your time and we'll speak again soon. Bye now.